all that has gone to China. What seems to hold us right now is this type of work. It's, it's things that you will find in a grocery store. Packaging is always redeveloped, reinvented. It might be the same product in a different package and the consumer likes to see it and all of a sudden he buys. That's, this is really cool. Wow, this is really neat. Look, at I got a little flip tail. Maybe I'm going to buy this instead of this one here that's got the twist cap on it. Everything's made out of plastic. Not everything, but so much. So there must be such an opportunity for our company to continue to grow and continue to make these plastic parts for the consumer. Whatever it is, medical. You see the medical industry. It's, we do a little bit of medical, not much. But the, the other plastic parts that we make to consumers, the stuff that you're going to see at the Jewel and, the, and wherever, those are the things that seem to be our bread and butter. And that's what we do mostly, and that's probably what you saw out there. And I think manufacturing is going to be here for quite a while yet. I'm banking on it. <laughs> and uh, I think my son will... How could we do without it? I don't know how. Well, I still think we need to have our educators, our educate. we need to enlighten them on what's going on so that they can place their people that aren't going to college. We can place them for a, out there for a job. And as long as they have a little mechanical inclination, I mean, everybody's not mechanical, but they have to have some of that here. I usually find people, and I ask them on an interview, uh, do you work on cars at all? Oh, yeah, I do on my own this, I do that. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. I'm a gearhead. I, I used to, I still, I still am. I still got a couple old cars I play with. A lot of those guys out there, were all ex gearheads when they were kids, so they have that mechanical inclination where they can take things apart, put lawnmowers back together. This is the kind of kid, and I asked that during interviews. I said, you, you take anything apart at home ever? Do you work on stuff? Uh, you know, and if I get, oh, I don't even know how to turn a screwdriver, it's like, yeah, well, okay, maybe this is, guy is not going to work. But when I get the fact that Oh yeah, I take this apart, I fix my dad's lawnmower, I can fix a clock, I can fix a... These are the kind of guys you're looking for, these young kids, because they already have that ability. Without a trade like this for them to go to, what are they going to do with their life? They're going to they're be at a dead-end job, and they're going to hate it. How horrible to be at a job that you don't like every day for 40 years. you got to make you crazy. Luckily, I've loved this job for... 51 years, I'm, I'm fortunate, I'm very fortunate.